Yeah, good morning everyone. Today we're going to modify the programming on the Hydra Tuner that has been installed in this F-350. Hello and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Okay, I'm already a little ahead of the game here. Uh, step one, down behind your fuse box under the dash, you need to remove the 10 millimeter bolt. I'm not even sure if I can get to this. On the, uh, the PCM plug which is down, down behind here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. It goes in the center of this plug. You back that out and this plug pulls back. And then under the dash on the driver's side, there's two seven millimeter head bolts that hold your PCM into a bracket up here beside your parking brake. Once you pull that out, you have to find this box code it's on your PCM. Each one will have a different code. Now this one, like I said, has already been installed. So there's a couple other videos on, uh, on YouTube that show you how to do the actual installation of putting the chip in the PCM. But like I said, this one was already installed in the truck when I bought it. But I wanted to verify that box code. Mine is NVK4. And then uh, Hydra... Hydra Ugh, pardon me. The Hydra Tuner from uh, Power Hungry Performance has a program that's downloadable from the internet. Plug your uh, USB cable into it that's uh, in the, the chip itself, and you get this uh, Hydra Flash by Hungry Power Performance. And this is your programming tool. And all you have to do is you start by going to Tools and to Box Hex Conversion. And you type in that box code. Or not type in, I'm sorry. You do the drop down here. And I was NVK4. So we'll scroll down to the ends. I went too far. Okay, NVK4. And that tells me I'm supposed to use the hex code is VNAA8U5, but the suggested uh, use this calibration is VRAA6S3. So when I change, do my programming, that's what I want to find is VRAA6S3. And over here, it shows you my 15 different possible programs. Uh, I've already programmed some of the top ones. Uh, program 00 is factory set as factory. So when the programmer is in 00, it is in just stock, no programming. I have program 1 as uh, 1000, 1000 RPM high idle. I've set program 2 at uh, 65 horsepower fuel sipper, which is, will be, be what my eventual daily driver should be. Program 3 is whisper mode, which I've never tried yet because it wasn't programmed in here, but supposedly in whisper mode it makes it quiet for like a drive through So once this programming is done, we'll start the truck up, put it in that whisper mode and see what kind of difference it makes. Uh, program 4 is an 80 horsepower daily driver. and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says with modified valve body. They have uh, like an 80 horsepower daily driver and then one with modified valve body. So if you have a shift kit in the transmission, this won't be quite as aggressive on the, uh, the shift modifications as it would be if you didn't have a shift kit. So since this has a shift kit in it, uh, all the programs I'm putting in are, are with modified valve body. So it's not quite as harsh as it was because the ones that were in here were not the modified valve body and it uh, it was really annoying the way it made it shift. So then I went with a 65 daily driver, the non-fuel sipper. Uh, program 6 is 80 horsepower towing. Now we'll change 7 if I can find my cursor here. So all you have to do is click change. It gives you a pop-up over here. This is kind of the annoying part. You have to 
scroll down to your hex code. Okay, VRAA. Okay, here's the VRAA 6S3. So any of these that we're scrolling past right now, I can put in this. And since my last was an 80 horsepower tow, I will do a 65 tow with modified valve body. Click select, and it puts it over here in, in 7 but it says unprogrammed. Now I can either click here, which will program it, or since there's more to do, I will wait until I'm done, and I can click this bulk program button up here that will program all of them. So we've got 7 as a 65. We'll go to 8. Scroll down to our VRAA. S3 and we will do a 40 towing with modified valve body and let me scroll down a little bit so we've got 9 through 14 left 15 right now is a no start so if it's in tune 15 the truck won't start so let me pause this I'll go ahead and uh, add 9 through 15 or 9 through 14 rather then I'll show you what those are and uh, we'll do the programming okay what I added uh, for 9 I did 80 horsepower performance 10 is 100 horsepower performance 11 is 120 horsepower racing 12 is the 140 horsepower extreme 13, I did a 65 mile per hour speed limit. Uh, it's, it's a teen driver option, so just in case my daughter ever borrows the truck, which is quite unlikely, but I can put it in, in tune 13 and it will not allow the truck to go over 65. And then 14 is a valet mode, which will not allow the truck to go over 20 miles per hour. And then 15 stays the no start. So now that those are all in there, what we can do is go up here to the bulk program click that and it is now reprogramming the chip. I think that's pretty awesome that this Hydra chip allows you as a user to change what programs are in your chip. As I know I originally when I was thinking about buying this truck I was gonna buy that I can't think of the name of the tuner but it's got the dial on the dashboard that has the six different positions and you have some choices there but when you buy that chip you have to tell them, hey, I want one to be this, two to be that, three, so on and so forth. They program it and send it to you. So you can't change it once it's in there. This one, I mean, you can change it as many times as you want to change it because with this program, you can do it. So we'll let this uh, run all its calibrations. And once it is done, there is also an option that you can print your calibrations. Now it does warn you that uh, this hex code, this VRAA 6S3, to not mix those because it'll it can actually cause the truck to stall when you change between them. Um, the previous owner only had like maybe six programs in it and there were some VRAA 6S3 and some VRAA 6N3. Now, I didn't do a lot of changing on the programming. I only I kept it in two, which I believe was 40 horsepower daily driver, until I discovered it had the zero, which I didn't know about until I, I started investigating this yesterday. But uh, I didn't switch very much when I was driving, so I don't know if it would have actually stalled or not but it did have a mix of the hex codes in this. So that's why I wanted to verify which box code I had to ensure I was putting the right hex code in since it had two different ones in the previous programming. Okay, it is all theoretically all programmed. 
all we have to do is is unplug our USB with the USB plugged in it does illuminate the tuner as soon as I unplug it it turns it off and it shows that the chip is disconnected so now we will reinstall the PCM Just have to slide it you can see that that light slot there that's the hole in the firewall where the uh, uh, plug goes in so we just need to get this box up in here I'm not sure this is a horrible camera view for you guys God. it in like that. There we go. I think we're lined up. Again, I apologize for this horrible camera view because trying to see what I'm doing and I can't really look at the camera. All right, I'm not in far enough. There it goes. Of course, every time I push on this, I'm Activating the power seat and pushing the seat back as well. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to put the camera down. I can't do this with one hand. Okay, I apologize for that. I just could not get it up in the right position to get that bolt in with one hand. So that one's tight. And then there's a second one. A little higher here we need to tighten. Now this, uh, this ribbon cable here is what goes up to the programmer box and this cable here is my USB which uh, basically what happened yesterday I was just kind of under the dash um, fixing a, the vent on this side didn't work and I found this USB cable just under the dash here I'm like ah, I wonder what that's for and noticed it went to the programmer, so that's when I got online and started doing some research and found that this programmer is user programmable. So we'll need to put the, uh, the cover panel back on, which I don't think I need to show you that. Come back out here under the hood. And so this is a 10 millimeter, the one under the dash was a 7 millimeter. And I'll have to reach down in here get that plug okay, in the PCM got to push it in there you don't have to shove it in all the way because the, uh, the 10 millimeter bolt actually draws the plug in just kind of awkward to get to here Tighten this 10 millimeter bolt up. There we go. Now it's drawing it in. Got nice and tight. Okay. All right, let's start this truck up and see what some of these modes do. Okay, without driving, obviously we're not going to see any difference in, in the performance tunes or the towing tunes. But let's start it up. We are in tune zero, which is just stock. Alright, now we'll go to one, which is the uh, 1,000 horsepower idle. Okay. 
That's odd. It doesn't seem to be reading the zero now. But there is 1,000 horsepower idle. Tune 2 is the 65 horsepower fuel sipper. And we came down off a of high idle. So let's see what this whisper mode does, which is 3. Puts it down to a 500 RPM idle. Four is the 80 horsepower. Put it back in whisper mode. Switch back and forth here. I don't know if I call that a whisper or not, but it's definitely quieter. Well, the only thing I notice here is switching from zero to one gives us our high idle. But switching from one to zero doesn't go out a high idle. Oh well, I don't think that's a big issue. It seems to work other than that. I don't know why it stalled the first time going from zero to one, but uh, it doesn't stall now, but it doesn't go from a high idle to zero, but more than likely once I start driving this, I'll probably never use zero again anyway. Um, they list zero, the stock, as being used for mostly diagnostics. So if you have some kind of a, an issue, you can put it in zero, which puts it, takes the tuner out of, uh, out of the mix for diagnosing probably a no start or a rough run or whatever issue. There's the Hydra Tuner uh, programming. Um, we'll test the on the road ones later once I start driving it and uh, see how it goes from there. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. If you have a Hydra Tuner, and uh, I assume you know how to do this, I didn't because I did this was on the truck when I bought it. Uh, but I know there's a, a myriad of tuners out there available. Um, I don't know how many of them other than the Hydra Tuner are user programmable like that, but I would definitely recommend this one since you can change the programming yourself for free. Uh, the tuner itself I know goes for about $325. That's what I could find yesterday online. I know the uh, previous owner bought this one from Alligator Performance. Uh, there was a few other um, vendors I noticed that had it for sale and they all seem to be right around the 325 range. But uh, I would definitely recommend this tuner. Um, it seemed to work fine for me in the programming they had. We'll see what it does with this new programming. But just the, the fact that you can, you can change the tuning yourself, or probably rather the programming yourself in the tuner, is, uh, is really a plus. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give us a thumbs up. I uh, appreciate if you subscribe. You can also check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're not real active there yet, but we're, we're trying to get, uh, get a little more active. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.